You are listening to the PRO Media Network, the next level in entertainment. When I say who are we, you say Saints. When I say are we ready, you say who? Who are we? 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 Who are
uh, tried out with the starting unit was on the July the 29th when Nick Eason got denied and Cameron Tom began training camp with the first team. That's a day. That's a thing of the past, baby. Saints used the second round pick on McCoy for a reason, and he's going to make you forget who Max Unger is, just like Max Unger made you forget whoever the hell his replacement was prior to that, whether it was De La Punta or, or uh, Jonathan Goodwin or whomever it was prior to that. You know, he's going to make you forget. Now, the tip drill of the day came with camera, with uh, Chauncey gardner Joss. He had an interception off of Teddy Bridgewater during 11-on-11 11 drills. But one could argue it wasn't Bridgewater's fault. Now, the pass was intended for A.J. Derby, who is a new signee. And that's not a good way to start the goddamn camp off by bobbling the ball to get intercepted in the air. That's a surefire way to get your line up for the exit sign quick. Now, perhaps it was first day jitters or it could be just quarterback Teddy Bridge, not Ted Bridgewater was not yet knowing Derby and had a relationship with it. But it looked like from the sidelines that the pass could have been caught. And uh, C.J. Gardner Johnson didn't miss that sucker. He took it and uh, intercepted it once again. So yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad. Now, also on the seven on seven drills, the goal line, Drew Brees attempted to connect with Dan Arnold on the back of the end zone after his primary reads were covered. Bruce Brees threw a jump ball to Dan Arnold, but Marcus Williams uh, stepped in front of him and leaped high enough to snatch the ball before Arnold could get his hands on it. So that was a good play by Marcus Williams. Fans near the end zone gave ovations and standing claps. But that wasn't good enough for Craig Robinson still on the sidelines with his all extended white slamming to the crowd. Come on, be louder. Oh, Craig Robinson, something else. Williams picked up Breeze, picked off Breeze, but was one of many good plays throughout the training camp for the secondary as they continue to step up. And, of course, the player, they came, uh, you know, another one between Breeze and Jared Cook. Now, they're talking about this connection to continue to grow. It's almost natural veteran versus veteran. And Cook's seen enough of these uh, quarterbacks during this time to kind of read what Drew Brees doing. Drew Brees and Jared Cook starting to really look like these guys were meant to play together. Now, the chemistry has been building all along the way, and then you can really see it once more when, uh, coming in Wednesday once again and during the 11 on drills when uh, Drew threw the ball where the touch is cooked, opened up across the middle of the field. The pass was perfectly placed. Cook got it, reached in stride, snatched it before quickly turning down the field and running down – uh, before Von Bell kind of chased him down there. So Saints doing a lot of good things in camp, man. Real interesting uh, to go to say none the least. But uh, before we finish our topics and talk about any other stuff, let's listen to Coach Payton start on camp day 13 yeah, as so the coach. Today, obviously, it felt different. I think the one thing that helps is the first 40 minutes that we get started. We're stretching in there. We're going through our walkthrough in there. It takes you know some learning it's really not a full practice when that's happening. It's just the beginning of practice relative to stretch, walk through. Um, and then look, you, you, get, you work to get acclimated. And so today, anytime we practice after an off day, it's always a beginning to ramp up day. So it's an alert injury day, statistically. The first day back, and we used to, we used to say they're, they're, they're fresh, they're ready. And, but if you looked at any of the studies, you see more soft tissue injuries following a day off and so training, no different than in any other sport, is a, is a you know, there's, there's peaks and valleys. And so today's, how, how long are we on the field? What are the drills we're doing? And we're alert that what, what the challenges can be. Now tomorrow a little bit more, and then you do the same thing and you start again. So, but you, it felt different today. Will you be starting Teddy Bridgewater quarterback Friday? We haven't decided yet. Um, we'll let you know before Friday. How does he, I'm from Minnesota, how does he kind of look compared to before the injury and how's he been doing for you guys? I, you know what, I, I was, we were just talking about him this morning. Um, I don't have any reference point to the injury. In other words, when we signed and traded for him, he was healthy. He had a real good preseason with the Jets. I think he's, he's done exceptionally well here. Um, he's certainly going to play a lot uh, this week. I think that, you know, a second year into what we're doing has benefited him. And he brings all those other intangibles that allow you to win, I think, that are necessary at that position. I'll follow up then with a I'll follow up with another Viking question. Yeah. Why, you guys have so many ex-Vikings all over the place. I mean, you scooped up several. What, anything in particular? I think Why sometimes you it's stealing all of Zimmer's guys. No, I think sometimes it's coincidence. Um, 
Mike and I are close friends. We worked together for three years in Dallas. Um, you know, there's that old saying, misery loves company, and we were both challenged by Parcells to be be uh, to be real good coaches. And um, but he's a close friend, and uh, but a lot of it, I think, was more coincidence. You know, Latavius is a guy that that we valued, and, and we needed a running back if we were to lose Mark. Um, you know, then you get to some other positions. Nick Easton's position. Um, a lot of it has to do with just timing. It's Coach Sean Payton chiming on his thoughts on a number of issues, including the key issue with Teddy Bridgewater. As the media asked him about Teddy Bridgewater, who's starting to look good now. I've been kind of critical of Teddy Bridgewater uh, as of recently. Uh, when he arrived, and he had a pretty decent preseason with the Jets. Different, sy- this different system coming to New Orleans. We thinking that he'll get an opportunity to be patient. You know, the, the team could be patient with him as they don't really need him right now. You know, just learn from behind Drew Brees, let him mentor you, and eventually, maybe when Drew's done and ready to hang him up, you have De- Teddy Bridgewater as the heir apparent. But he's one, under a one-year deal, and I still think, see that the Saints probably won't kind of see what the guy could do. And they'll get every opportunity to see him because he'll play a lot during the preseason. Uh, him and Taysom Hill will play a lot. Not so much Drew. We know they'll ch- kind of shelve Drew, keep him out of the way. But Teddy Bridgewater, man, eyes on Teddy Bridgewater to see exactly what he can do. Kind of rebound from that terrible, awful, garbage time play he had against the Carolina Panthers at the end of the last season. Also, some quick news and notes to talk about um, dealing with the thing. You you heard Sean Payton talk about uh, the pass. He had heavier practice on an off day after coming off an off day, assuming the guys were fresher. But he kind of have a change. Uh, have this injury alert day because the guys are ramping up and he's saying a tissue injury. So the coach kind of having a shift in mentality as opposed to the traditional ways of having it after the guys had a chance to rest, rest and he'll come back and say, okay, guys, let's hit it. But now he's kind of dialing back on that philosophy. So very interesting, Coach Payton taking a different approach with his uh, play method. So it's interesting, man, to see how he's gauging that. But anyway, let's uh, we just got you talking about Teddy Bridgewater. Let's see what he had to say about camp. Here's Great TV. camp so far, uh, competing against our team. It'll be fun uh, competing against another team. Uh, of course, it'll be a, a lot of familiar faces for me. Uh, I'm excited about this opportunity that we, uh, we get to go out and show, uh, put all our hard work on display. So uh, we're looking forward to it. Do you still hear from fans in Minnesota at all, or have people reach out to you from Minnesota? Yeah, uh, I, I've uh, grown uh, some relationships with uh, different people uh, from Minnesota. And, uh, of course, our... Uh, some of the fans still reach out to me uh, on social media. So. Did that surprise you at all? It, it can be, every situation is different when you leave a team, so sometimes it doesn't always happen. Yeah. Um, no, it just speaks highly of, uh, I think, uh, them as fans, uh, the state. And then uh, also sometimes it uh, speaks highly of the athletes. But um, you know, there are great people in uh, the state of Minnesota. I enjoyed my time there, and uh, I'm enjoying my time here in New Orleans now. Hey, Teddy, what's up, man? <laughs> See? How are you? Uh, what is it just going to be like being out there facing your former Vikings for the first time in an actual game? Uh, it'll be it'll be fun. Uh, those guys know me. I know those guys. So uh, it'll be great to uh, just you know be on the other side. Uh, usually, when I used to go against those guys, they couldn't touch me. But uh, you know now the red jersey's off. So uh, I'm just looking forward to just uh, seeing those guys and competing against those guys. What did Zimmer came out? I asked him, and he said, "Well, we're going to go out and try to hit him just like any, any other quarterback." What do you think about Zimmer? Hey, that's that's the expectations. Um, I don't expect them to take it easy or anything like that. So, you know, it's preseason. They have some things that they want to work on, and some things that they want to see uh, in this matchup. And we have some things that we've been working on that we want to see. So, uh, we're looking forward to this matchup uh, Friday and just going out competing. Teddy Bridgewater family chiming on his thoughts on what's going to happen coming up and very interesting uh, about Teddy getting ready to play his former team, man. And uh, we'll see what he's made of, man. I want to see some more action, some more repetitions with Teddy Bridgewater leading the first team. You know, we'll love to see that, man. A lot of Saints fans, people, period, interested to see exactly how Teddy Bridgewater is going to kind of rebound early on in the camp. Didn't have a too much kind of all right normal kind of camp then the last couple of days he's kind of kind of wrapped it up and he looks good so a lot of people kind of got their eyes on him i'm kind of been critical of him lately because i haven't liked this play but uh, let's see what teddy could do man we'll see exactly what he's made of these next few 
uh, these pr- few preseason games. We'll see what he can do leading that first team offense. Anyway, let's continue to move on, man. We talk about some more issues. Of course, we're going to re-snatch and go back to the fact that they had a couple of s- releases. Well, actually, a release and an assignment to Desert Saints did get rid of Nate Wozniak. They re- released Nate Wozniak. Now, he was picked up by the team last year as an undrafted player out of I think there was a university of Minnesota that Nate Wozniak came in the Saints converted him from a tight end huge player massive player from a tight end they converted him offensive line and didn't quite get along uh didn't progress as fast as you would expect him to make a transition the Saints finally just cut bait and ran on Nate Wozniak and in place when they got rid of him they signed AJ Derby who is a tight end uh, brought him in. The Saints picked him up. Now, Derby was a former, he was a 2015 six round pick by the Patriots. He spent time with the Broncos and Dolphins, had three catches with 48 yards and a touchdown in four games for the Dolphins last season. And of course, the depth chart for the tight end looked like this Jared Cook is at the top, followed by Josh Hill, Alizé Mack, Dan Arnold. And then the Saints, of course, acquired Jake Powell to round out the group. Now, that's some of the things that's going on. AJ Klein, I mean, AJ Derby did have a uh, try, uh, well, he was thrown at the day. The ball bounced off his hands, and C.J. Uh, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson picked it off for an interception. That's not a good way to start the camp off, but that's one of the news and those. Interesting, A.J. Derby, not looking out. Pretty decent speed for a tight end, but the Saints, Alizé Mack dealing with injuries, maybe that's a filler for that. We'll see what time it is as the preseason moves on. Uh, monitoring those situations. Now, before we finish up on some more news and items, let's listen to Jared Cook, the big free agent tight end the Saints picked up to help him move the ball. Here's Jared Cook on his thoughts on the camp. Particular game, maybe like, you know, that third preseason game, maybe you get more reps or what? Um, I don't know. Uh, I kind of got to see how they do it here. Uh, each team that I've been on has been different, so it's kind of going to be the same here. Uh, and with the numbers in the tight end room, it's something else that needs to be talked about. So we'll see. The last time you uh, kind of spoke to us, you said you had a lot to learn in this playbook and system. How's that, how's that process going for you? It's going well. Um, you know, it's, it's still about the same. There's still a lot to learn. Uh, we just keep installing and throwing more things in. But, uh, you know, it's just going over it every night, repetition and just getting to know. It's, it's pretty much the little things. It's the little details that what makes this offense so hard because there's so many of them to get. So it's just keep going over those and just knowing them like the back of your hand. So when Mike's back out here, does that, that open up things for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think it does quite a bit. Uh, it's another person for the defense to really have to focus on and worry about. Uh, and it just helps kind of make the defense play a little bit more honest and true. Jared, you, we in the media don't like to jump to too many conclusions just from watching two weeks of training camp practice and seeing the plays you're making out there. But are you as enthusiastic about the, the results you're actually seeing on the field? As yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I still think we got a lot to improve on. Uh, I don't like to jump to conclusions like you guys do. So it's kind of all about the work, you know. It's about the work we put in and just uh, keep getting better from practice. It's, it's always something you can improve on, right? And it's always things, especially being new in this offense, that I continue to get, improve on and continue to learn each and every day. So it's just keep on stacking the days, adding them to your piggy bank, and then cashing out a later date. And, and I know you're no stranger to high expectations throughout your career. What, what gives you hope that that sort of this is a better fit that'll work out maybe than some other stuff did? Um, I think it's all about the preparation. Uh, the more you go into a game plan, learning and knowing game plan, knowing what to do, knowing what your quarterback is going to check to or tell you before he even says it, I think the preparation in that aspect gives you a, uh, you know, a, a step above the competition and a step above, you know, each week, each and every week. So it's just knowing it. It's just repetition and learning. Jared Cook, man, just repetition and learning for the Saints offense and its intricacies. Sean Payton, man, and Mickey Mouse Loomis did a fantastic job of keying in on this guy who's the best free agent and beat and were able to sign him. And they beat out teams like New England, who was in need of a tight end after Big Gronk retired. And the Saints, in my opinion, got the best tight end since Jimmy Graham was here when they signed Jared Cook for this two year deal. A lot of people didn't like the money, but guess what? Yeah, you, you're gonna you, y'all with all this not liking the money. Y'all gonna be quiet and watch as Jared Cook catch, catches touchdowns and open up the field underneath and creates 
with Drew giving Drew Brees another outstanding tight end only makes the offense goes to another level. So really, really happy to have that man here. Another guy I'm happy to have here who upgraded the defensive line and got as we kind of ushered unceremoniously Tyler Davidson out the door is Malcolm Brown, who with his one gap situation is really tearing it up. Here's his thoughts so far. Oh, man, camp. I'm, I'm, I don't really want to just try to compare everything. I'm here now. I'm just worried about being here. Uh, just trying to do my best here and contribute however I can, wherever I can, and however long I can. How do you feel like camp's going for you? Uh, good so far. I mean, it's still a lot that we're still learning. Still a lot of things we got to put in. And uh, we just got to stack, stack days on top of days and, you know, come out here and just get better at something each day. I know you just said that you want to you know, really want to talk about the past and all that stuff, but the defense that you're playing currently, how much better is that for your skill set? Um, I mean, that's what – it's exactly it's, it's what I grew up in. I played it ever since I started playing D line in high school. I was in a one gap system. Um, college I was one gap, so I mean, I mean, I, I like being in a one gap system myself. For me, I feel like it helped me out, bring out, bring out um, my abilities and whatever I can do. It, it, it highlights those things. With all your experience now in the NFL, who was the toughest offensive line? Offensive lineman that you went against, like one of them is like, "Whoa, this dude, you better pack the lunch because he's bringing." Uh, I don't know. So not one in particular that like. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't know off the top of my head. Right, right, I mean, I got you. but I don't know. I can't, I don't, like I said, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. I'll yeah. think about it next time I'm over here. I uh, hope okay. you're here and I will tell you. Right. you, hear a lot you of the guys. Like, sorry, I'm sorry. Did you feel the like heat out here a little bit more today? Was it uh, a little warmer? I mean, I'm getting kind of acclimated now. I mean, kind of, you know, it's kind of easing up on me. And like I said, I'm from Texas, so he, he, he I've been growing up in he I'm born and raised in Texas, so humidity is another thing. But I mean, the heat is all right. No big deal. Today. Yeah. Big Malcolm Brown talking about the heat, and hopefully he can bring the heat come this upcoming regular season and preseason as he will move into this defense paired with Cam and Davenport. Not to mention the impending return of Sheldon Rankins in a month and a half or so. And, you know, the Saints are defensive line. Really excited about that, man, moving forward. So big things happen in camp. You heard from Coach Payton, his thoughts. You heard from Malcolm Brown, Jared Cook, and him getting acclimated. Teddy Bridgewater preparing to line up against his former buddies. And we should see a lot of stuff going on dealing with the Saints and camp moving forward. Now, day 14 coming up. Uh, next coming up tomorrow and we'll have more news and notes on that as well so i'd like to take this time man to talk to y'all guys about the fantastic uh merchandise that the sports comb is coming out with we finally have gotten it together we have several uh, t-shirts that will be coming out soon uh, that are out now that's available in the link the description section below and the pro shop that's on teespring so if you guys like the shirts if you've been listening to the podcast you've been hearing my takes on different things about one of my favorite terms i like to use is we weren't robbed you heard everybody say oh we were robbed we were robbed by the referees but usually when i approach people who believe that a parakeet and a we robbed we got robbed mantra i usually ask them okay you watch the game yeah i watched the game okay do you remember in the game when a certain tight end dropped the touchdown pass from drew Brees and they kind of think for a second say yeah that, you know what that's true that guy did drop the touchdown pass well that's the theme shirt to understand to make people understand that we had every opportunity to win these games and we have to have that same mindset moving forward so if you get an opportunity please feel free to support the sports coma by going to our pro shop the pro shop on teespring pick up the new shirts there's several uh shirts that will be available and every week we'll have a new shirt that will come out for the sports coma not only that we've got sports comas uh, gear and towels shirts for the for the ladies as well shirts for the children onesies for the babies coffee mugs all that great stuff all available at the pro shop on teespring so check it out support the sports coma not to mention for everybody out there coming up this week going to release the ads and the rules for winning the console and Madden games or our Madden game giveaway and our console giveaway are coming up. It's going to start real soon. So be on the lookout for that. Thank y'all for listening to Sports Coma. With Big Q and the guys, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button for more content. Thank you for listening. Peace. Hey. 
If you haven't heard the sports coma, this is what you're missing. Check out the sports coma with Big Q and the guys. Homebistro.com. Freshly prepared, home-delivered, restaurant-quality gourmet meals delivered straight to your home. Choose from over 50-plus gourmet meal options cooked by world-class chefs and delivered frozen, ready to eat within minutes and no commit. Welcome to the one-shop gourmet food delivery specialized in affordable options to eat right and feel great 100 percent satisfaction guaranteed every ingredient is handpicked to the highest standard and why you should buy from homebistro.com restaurant quality made with natural ingredients delivered right to your door overnight shopping is available diabetic paleo heart health and vegetarian options to eat during business since 1999 courteous knowledgeable and professional support complete pci compliant ssl security ordering and great meals choose from some of my favorite dishes the mediterranean chicken with orange honey sauce, the charbroiled chicken romesco, or the grilled chicken breast with sweet and spicy vegetables. No matter what you choose, you can't lose with homebistro.com. Eat great, feel good, and save some money with homebistro.com. Hit the link in the description section below for more information. Saints and Pelicans fan, so the only podcast I can get my fix is the Sports Coma with Big Q. The guy's intense, funny, and they always keep it real. Check out the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. The Who That Daily.com. That's right, the Who That Daily.com. Your one stop shop for everything New Orleans Saints, New Orleans Pelicans, LSU Tigers, and even the top flight boxing news. So if you're a Who That and you're looking for a place to stay up on your team, the Who That Daily.com is your site. The Who That Daily.com for the sport Who That in all of us. Embrace Pet Insurance is more than just pet insurance. Embrace Pet Insurance promises to provide genuine support and certainty when your pet needed the most. With personalized accident and illness policies, compassionate customer care, 24-7 access to veterinarian professionals, flexible wellness plans, timely claims processing, and online customer portals, their values is what makes them embrace. So, when selecting a pet insurance company as a partner in your pet's care, you deserve a company that has your pet best interest at heart. Get top rated and review coverage for your pet today. Up to 90% back on bills at any vet. Total protection, pet insurance, and wellness and dependable claims payments. Get the top rated and review coverage for your pet today. Go to EmbracePetInsurance.com That's EmbracePetInsurance.com Check the link in the description section below. Are you a boxing fan? Check out Ring Kings Boxing only on the PRO Media Network. Follow the sports club on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. 